Hi everyone, so today I will be showing you how to use our Inside Designer in our Cake Talk website. So here you have two options of getting to our Inside Designer. The first option is going here to this block that says design your own image topper. If you click on let's begin, it'll take you to our products and you'll be able to see all our products laid out with their titles and sizes. Now, if you decide to click on design now, it'll take you directly to the designer instead of taking you to the products, but you can access all the products here as well. So as far as interface, I prefer to do the edible image topper uh, way because that way it'll show you the products that you are buying for more visual people. But if you've already used our designer before and know what products you want to buy, then you can just click on design now the start here button as you can see it takes you directly to our designer and you can click on our categories here and choose whichever topper you want so i clicked on rectangle i see she edible prints here as you can see this will be the whole category so you can see the titles down here that are highlighted in teal as you move along now if you want more of a breakdown you can click on the subcategories of this category. So you can click on Supreme Icing Sheets. It will take you to the Supreme Icing Sheet templates that we have available. And like I said, you can see the titles down here. So eight and a half by 11 portrait edible print. So you can do it this way, but for first time users, I suggest going through the other route. So we'll click out of this and we'll go back. Now let's click on design your own edible image topper, which will take you through the designer, but first we'll get to see the products. So we'll click on let's begin. And here, this is what I mean by seeing the products. You can see the products and what they would look like actually printed on the sheet that you're purchasing. So these are images that we printed ourselves to use as samples. Now I'll go ahead and for the sake of this tutorial, use the 2.5 circle edible print cupcake topper. This is our most popular cupcake topper as it fits standard size cupcakes pretty well. So we'll click on customize and voila, it takes you to the designer as well. So this is more of a roundabout way of getting to your uh, templates, but it does show you the products before you choose. So we do have a short tour that'll just give you kind of the basics of our designer. If you click on take short tour here, you can see little highlights of our tools here so for our product tool you can easily switch between different products templates here so basically if you click on this it'll take you to the product templates that I showed you before but we'll click on it in a second so you can see click next you can add your images here you can use them from your computer or if you're using your phone you can add them from your camera roll Here's your text tool. Here you can add text to your design and we have some pretty cool effects that you can do. I'll show you this in a second. The layers tool will help you work with the items that you've added to your topper. So any images that you add or text will be in a new layer. And what you can do is go to the layers tool here to edit anything that you may need to edit um, in each layer. And then you can hand draw uh, using the design tool here this uh, hand draw tool. Now, it's very hard to do with a mouse. If you have a tablet or anything like that, or if you're an artist and you want to basically hand draw onto the topper, you can using a tablet. Or you, if you have a experience with drawing with a mouse, then this tool's for you. Once you're done with your product, you can either, uh, you can add it to cart, or you can go back to the shop if you're not happy with the design and start over. Okay, so let's begin. The file option here, if you click on it, you can import a file such as a PDF or even an image as well. Um, clear all will obviously make your design be completely cleared again and you'll start over from scratch. If you've designed this, but you're not ready to purchase yet, you can always save it to your designs and the next time you come back on the same browser, your designs will be saved so you can proceed from where you left off. Where it says designs here, this is where all your previously saved designs will be. The ones that you didn't finish, but want to come back to. The share button lets you title your design 
and then create a link for you to share it. Let's say with a customer. If you're a baker, you have a business, and you're designing this for a customer, you can share. You can create a link to share your design so that they can see it. And the cool thing is that they themselves can tweak it in our Insight Designer because the link will send them to our Insight Designer. And here's the help tool. And this is you know uh, shortcuts, image upload. So these are all very thorough images that you can see that we've created ourselves so that if you know you don't have access to this tutorial it's still here so you can see all the helpful tools that we have here so let's get to the fun part so here the product we chose a 2.5 edible print cupcake topper but if you did change your mind and don't want to go all the way back and, and search for another product on our site you can change it directly from here so if you click change product you can see all the templates here that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. So, you know, if you change your mind, you can choose another product. But for now, we'll stick with this. Now, images, you can click or drop images here. So let's go ahead and upload. And I'll have, let's say, go with unicorn right now. You open unicorn here. There's a little unicorn. Now with resources, you can link your Facebook account and download images from your Facebook onto the topper. Uh, for now, I'll just stick with upload and I'll upload my own images. Now here's the text tool. Uh, these are the effects I was talking about earlier. It's really cool to use this. Now, these are all the fonts that we have and you can load more. We have many, many fonts to choose from. So let's click on fonts here and look at all these that are available. You can just keep on going. Let's stick with lobster. Okay, we've added that to the designer. So there it is, lobster. And you can click and drag this to make it bigger. And then you can edit here, uppercase or lowercase, see? So the, the text tools are kind of spread out here. You have the effects here, and then you have the more direct tools here. So you can bold it italicize it, underline it. Uh, this is a text. This is for us to edit the text. And this is a little bit different as in you don't edit it directly here. You'll have to edit it through this tool. So let's say happy. Birthday. Okay. And we'll make the font size smaller here as well. Oops, misspelled here. Let's do it correctly. Happy birthday. You can do the letter spacing. So we'll make this and let's see what it looks like. Oh, there's happy birthday there. If you, you can change the color here, I'll stick with this. But if you don't have, if you don't have the color you want in these options, you can always select the color, move it around here, the rainbow, and you can save the color. And there it is. For my second line of text, I'll choose one of these really cool effects. And again, edit the text here. Let's put a name. Okay. Update the text. Then we'll bold it. And we can choose the color here. So let's add another color by clicking here. You just have to click on the bar and it'll take you to the color picker. And let's make it a nice dark purple. Let's see, there you go. And save color and then just cancel out. Can make it smaller. there it is so happy birthday abby now let's go up to the layers here and let's click on the unicorn and let's edit this layer to make it a little bit smaller and move it up so this is how you can use the layers tool to make it easier to design your topper and lastly we have the drawing tool which you can choose color, you can choose the size of the stroke. 
so that's really big obviously and undo is up here so you can just undo there you go and you can make it small you can make the stroke as small or as big and the this drawing tool is kind of a nice way to personalize your topper in a more intimate way i'll choose this color or you can click here and choose a color picker let's use this one save color click on it cancel out of that and then you know let's put a little heartfelt message with the mouse here you can put love mom now i'm not very talented when it comes to using the mouse to draw but if you have a tablet or if you have great experience with the mouse then this is for you now if you want to move this around you can go to layers again so as you can see the drawings themselves save in pieces here uh, you can delete it if you want just by going here and clicking the little ets there you are so i think i'll just leave it like that and i hope that this tutorial was helpful for you now if you want to check out you can add it to the cart and your cart has been updated now you can either check out now or you can cancel out or if you change your mind you can also go to file save to my designs your design has been successfully saved so you go to designs and there you are it's saved there and it will be saved there when you come back so we hope this tutorial was helpful to you it, it introduces the basics for our insight designer and if you ever have any questions you can always click on our help up here and check out our small little tabs here with information. Thank you so much for watching.